Assalamu alaikum friends. In today's video, I will show you how to perform the abrasion resistance test of paper blocks as per IS 15658-2006. So, the, here are some specific machines and materials that we will be requiring to perform the test. Uh, first of all, of course, we have to use a mask for uh, protection of our nose from the dust. And then, let's move to our abrasion machine. As you, as you see here, this is the abrasion machine. It, uh, it has a load which is uh, around uh, 295 Newton. And this is the place where we will remove the blocks for the test here. These blocks are cut from the paper blocks as per IS code uh, by having 70.1 million sides uh, from each side uh, and uh, we will need some materials here as you see these are the abrasive powders used for the uh, testing of the blocks and these powders are steam on the grinding part of the abrasion machine uh, this as you see here this is of 20 grams each uh, and this cycles show that uh, we have to steal this in each and every cycle that we and this is the digital weighing machine uh, that is used for weighing this uh, abrasive toners here as you see this is sensitive to uh, 0 0.1 uh, grams and can measure up to nearest point uh, 0 0.1 gram so this papers are used for uh, measuring this weight First of all, we have to make it zero. Then this powder is measured and taken the 20 grams of this abrasive powder for the test. Uh, the first stage is to prepare a chart for the report. Uh, this chart includes the uh, serial number. the initial weight the next column is uh, the initial size and the next column the weight of a specimen after four cycles our next column is the weight of a specimen after eight cycles the next one is weight of a specimen after 12 cycles and another column is the weight of the specimen after 16 cycles the last column is the final size and weight of the specimen moving to our experiments we'll see and we will note down all the values in its specific place so as per IS code we have to do test on four blocks so four numbers of blocks are needed here and weight of these blocks has to be measured initially as well as finally. 
So for initial size and weight of the blocks, we will be requiring a weighing machine plus the vernier caliper. So as you see here, the vernier caliper is here. So this instrument is used for measuring the size of this block. The length means one side. Another side, and then the thickness of this block has to be measured, and it has to be noted down in a paper so that we have to compare this with the final size of the block. In addition to that, we have to note down the weight of this block, and finally, the weight of the block after the testing has to be also noted. Okay. Uh, now this color is steam here in the grinding path. So I'm doing this while the machine is not moving, but you have to do it while it is moving. So this has to be steam uniformly in all the directions of this path. As you see here, this specimen is located right there in its own position. So as you see here, this block is numbered by one, two, three and four. This four sides has to be tested starting with one and after each cycle we have to rotate this block clockwise uh, to, to test the other sides of the block. So let's start with the first side. This has to be placed properly here and I will turn on the machine here and 20 revolutions will be uh, done here. This test is running at the uh, speed of uh, uh, 30 RPM, means revolutions per minute. So as you see here, this shows the number of uh, revolutions that the disc makes. With this button, we will be turning on the machine, and this is for turning off. This here you see the num, it shows the number of revolutions of the machine. So we will be starting this test, and there will be a voice, so uh, you see what will be uh, done here. Let's get started. By pressing this button, we will be starting this test. Be careful that we have to place this abrasive holder right in the path. During the test that will move outside the path, we have to relocate them in its proper location. Let's get started. Okay, this, um, the rotation of this machine has been stopped after 22 revolutions. Okay, now we have to, we have to rotate this block clockwise for the second number. So after that, the same procedure will be done. After that, this side will be placed on the grinding pad. And again, 20 grams of abrasive powder is streamed here, and uh, 22 revolutions will be made here, and after that, the fourth side. So, while we finish these revolutions for the block, uh, then we will we have to measure this block. Four sides of 
the block, then the block has to be sealed with a cloth. These typical values has been taken from the experiment, the initial weight, the initial size, weight after 4 cycles and weight of the specimen after 8 cycles, like this 12 cycles and 16 cycles, the weights are taken in grams and the final size of the specimen is uh, written in mmq. So the final stage is to do the calculations. The abrasive wear of the specimen after 16 cycles of testing is calculated as the mean loss in the volume of the specimen. Uh, this following equation uh, gives us the uh, loss in the volume of the specimen, which is delta V is equal to delta M divided by PR. What is delta V? It is the loss in volume of the specimen delta m is the loss in mass of the specimen after 16 cycles pr shows the density of the specimen from this specific equation we can find the loss in the volume of the specimen that's it okay friends this was how to perform the abrasion resistance test for concrete paper blocks and a special thanks for the owner of the Radical Enterprise for allowing us to perform the test here and a special thanks for Mr. Mial Kalash who is currently capturing the video and if you like the video please share so that your friends will be benefited from this and if you have some comments please do not hesitate to share with me. Thank you.